Hi, everybody. Dave Kogan along with Jeff Sad of Las Vegas Sports Services. And uh, it is Tuesday, the 22nd of March, a couple of days away from the Sweet 16, about a week away from the start of baseball, NBA in full, you know, head and playoff stretch, some big games taking place there, the NIT and the other college basketball tournaments. Uh, yeah, you know what? There's, there's some good stuff out there right now. Chances for everybody to win. We're going to look at tonight's NIT matchup between Kent State and Colorado in just a moment. Jeff, uh, get, uh, I know I've got some baseball uh, that I want to talk about. You have got some basketball that you want to talk about and a great special for the rest of the month. Well, that's not even 4-0. It can't get much better than that. I'm sure it was a 20-star winner with Washington State. I also have the Grizzlies and the Spurs. Alabama was my guaranteed play. If you got it late, you might have gotten a push, but I think most people got a win with Alabama last night, so it was a great night. And now I'm going to ha- I'm going to give away the rest of March, all the players' edge winners to the end of the month, uh, NBA and college basketball for only $10. And it's just a toll-free number. Call the LBSS, 1-866-575-8918, 8918 I want to talk a little bit about baseball, my favorite game. Uh, it is also my best sport. Uh, not, not in terms of winning percentage. That that would actually be college football. But, uh, you know, college football doesn't offer nearly the number of plays in terms of volume that baseball does. And it also doesn't offer the potential on return of an investment uh, because baseball, you know, you can lay a lot of runs line if you want. But, uh, but basically there's no spread involved in baseball. It's a money line driven game. A lot of betters don't understand it and avoid it. Um, here's the part that's easy to understand. Uh, it's it actually, literally, it's the only sport where you can hit less than 50% and make money. Now, obviously, that's not the goal. You want to do a little better than that. Uh, but that's just, that's how it works. Uh, you can hit less than 50% and make money if you're betting underdogs. And I will tell you that betting underdogs is definitely the value in baseball. There's value in all sports. Uh, and we're going to talk about that shortly in the Kent State-Colorado game. But uh, to me, baseball delivers absolutely the best opportunity uh, if you're math driven and you really follow things closely in terms of uh, bullpen availabilities, things like that, you can get an edge on a nightly basis in baseball. And I don't think there's any sport that offers that. I've got a, I, I think it's a terrific offer. Uh, it's 49 bucks. You're going to get my April baseball package. Take you right through the end of the, uh, uh, the month of April. 49 bucks. I'm going to include the rest of the basketball as well. So get a chance to build your bankroll between now and opening day, certainly, and get you all those nice plays uh, that we've got coming up in these big games. You want to take advantage, make one phone call, and I I pound this home every day at this time of year. Bookies hate baseball. They can't stand it because it's the one sport where sharp bettors can do them in, and they don't have as many of, uh, well, for lack of a better word, the squares to balance the books. A lot of people take the summer off. Because they don't like baseball. They don't follow baseball. I do. You like making money. Give my uh, office a call today. 1-866-841-1665. That's 1-866-841-1665. Also, get my daily free plays. Uh, all you need to do is text COKIN, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131. And in a matter of a couple of seconds, you'll get back that day's Free play via text message. Very simple. You don't have to listen to one of these lengthy sales pitches. You just get the game and and, uh, have some fun with that. Also, if you have not yet downloaded My Vegas Odds for your iPhone, you may as well do it. It's free, and it's got some good information on there. Scores, lines, odds, uh, all the important stuff. It's a completely free app. It's called My Vegas Odds. Uh, Just go to the uh, App Store or on iTunes. Download it, and you're all set to go. All right, let's look at this basketball game tonight. And uh, I may as well start it. Let me get started on this. Uh, you got a very interesting situation with Kent State and Colorado. Now, Kent State uh, had a thrilling MAC tournament. They ended up losing uh, in overtime in the finals. But that they won the regular season, so they automatically got the, the automatic qualifier um, for the NIT. They got to open up by going to St. Mary's. That's a long trip across the country for a school in Ohio. They look like they're, they're dead. I mean, they're down a dozen in the second half. St. Mary's pretty good at closing teams out with that backcourt they've got. But uh, McConnell had a horrible game. I think he's playing hurt. There are reports that he's got a meniscus problem in his knee. 
he had probably the worst game of his career. And Kent State, look, give him credit. They took full advantage, came back, got an upset win by one point at St. Mary's. Now they got to go all the way across the country to Connecticut and play Fairfield on Sunday. They get another win in that game. Very exciting matchup. Uh, down to the wire, Kent State pulls out the victory. Now the reward for that, they got to go right back across the country again to Boulder, Colorado, take on the Buffaloes in altitude. There's almost no way this team's not going to be a little bit fatigued tonight. And there's what people are doing to, in terms of the handicap of this game. That's a great spot. It really is. That's a great spot for Colorado. They've got all the advantages here. We know the Buffaloes are going to be motivated because they're trying to prove to the NCAA selection committee that they got snubbed. So this is a team that's going to want to play tonight. I should be all over Colorado, right? Well, this is where value comes in. Um, now, I, I, I do lean to Colorado in this game. I'm not going to bet Kent State. But I'm not also not going to bet Colorado. I made it a free play today, and the reason I did that is because it's such a good situation. But to me, if you actually bet Colorado tonight, you are getting the worst of it. Uh, you can't adjust this much on the number. The, this game power rates to about six or six and a half. That's the right line of the game with no other factors. It's ten and a half now. Because you see what I just told you about in terms of all the travel and stuff like that, everybody knows that, including the guys who put the line up. So what they did was they made the line high to begin with at nine or nine and a half. The betters thinking they're latching on to a good thing here. They've boosted the line to ten and a half. I gotta tell you something. It's not a good bet at ten and a half. Now it may get there. I'm not saying it won't. They, they might beat it by 20 tonight. It could happen. But it, this is the most important rule of sports betting. It's the most important rule of anything is, as far as money goes. If you're going to make a purchase, get value. If you don't get value and you take the worst of it on a regular basis, you're going to lose in the long run. So you might win this one bet because it's such, such a good situation. But I will tell you, you, if you get in the habit of betting bad numbers, taking the worst of it, you will take it in the shorts, and you will lose your money. That is a 100% sure thing. So I lean to Colorado. No chance that it goes on to my customers tonight simply because the value is not there. I don't want to go against it because of the uh, uh, just because of the situation. But, uh, Jeff, that's, that's the only way I can sum this up for people. Lean to Colorado, uh, not playing it because it's a bad number. Uh, I, I feel the exact same way. You know, this was supposed to be a, a rebuilding season for Kent State. They lost six seniors, but they've been improving with every game. They've won 14 out of the last 18, and three of the losses were in overtime. Plus, 11 of the last 13 games have been away from home. Their top three scorers are Green, Guyton, and Sherman, but in the win against Fairfield on Sunday, Randall Holt stepped up and led the team with 22 points. So Kent State definitely, definitely has been impressive. You know, first traveling to the West Coast, beat St. Mary's, and back to the East Coast to beat Fairfield. Colorado played a, a very uh, efficient game against California. They only had five turnovers, and they took advantage of a, a big injury by Cal. Their leading scorer, Ori yeah. Gutierrez, missed most of the second half with an injury. Good Colorado guard. definitely is strong offensively with four players in double double figures led by Alec Burks. As well as Kent State is playing, the Flashes, as you said, have got to be a tired team. It would be almost impossible for them not to be. And now they have to go play in high altitude without a really deep bench. You know, Kent State only has seven players averaging more than ten minutes per game. So, uh, and Cal's had a couple more days rest. So, just as you said, it's not going to be a big play for me, but I will lean toward Colorado. I just feel more comfortable taking Colorado in this spot than I would Kent State, although it's not going to be a big play. Yeah. And by the way, as far as this altitude goes, when teams aren't familiar with it, geez, it's a killer. Um, yeah. We saw it on, on the uh, Gonzaga BYU game. <laughs> and, and now there was a game where the, the, you got line value because nobody really factored the altitude in. It wasn't such an obvious situation as tonight is. And the betters were mostly on Gonzaga in that game. You ended up. Uh, and BYU, I think, went off minus one. Uh, there was yeah. some sharp money that came in on the Cougars, including mine. But you could have had BYU at plus two in that game, and that was a bad number. Uh, the other way, there was a situation where you had huge value because, you know, those of us who live out in this part of the country follow the Mountain West Conference. <laughs> we know the altitude issue uh, can be a, a big problem for teams that aren't used to it. And that was good three days sitting there for Gonzaga. You just knew, actually it was four days from when they got in just knew that this team was going to be sucking wind in the second half, and uh, they were they could run out of that place. 
That could very well happen at Kent State tonight. It's not going to shock me if it does. But again, if you bet into bad numbers, you're going to get smashed around in the long run. So yeah, be careful what you do. So it's a free play for both of us in Colorado. But for neither one of us is it going out as a, uh, uh, a play to our, uh, our customers. Uh, again, the offers, mine is for baseball, but you get some basketball thrown in. It's 49 bucks, but you get the entire month of April in baseball. That includes the first uh, few days of the season that, that are in March, obviously. So it goes through April 30th. $49 for my baseball action, plus the basketballs free of charge. 49 bucks at one 841 1665 And Jeff, once again, hey, you can't go wrong with this. 10 bucks for you. That's that's all you're charging for this offer. The rest of the month, all the star-rated players, edge winners at college and NBA, just call toll free LVSS one eight six six five seven five eight nine one eight one eight six six five seven five eight nine one eight. That'll do it for today's pro line. Enjoy the day, everybody. For Jeff Sutton, I'm Dave Kogan. Thanks for watching and get some winners tonight.